Hi, I'm Tom Burkhalter, new district administrator for Viroqua Area Schools. My family and I are excited to become a part of the Viroqua community and are officially moving to our new home in town next week. Two of my sons will be attending at Viroqua Elementary School and we are all extremely excited to become Blackhawks. I not only wanted to introduce myself but also share an update about the next steps in our planning process to welcome our students and staff back into our buildings. As you can imagine, there are still a lot of uncertainties to how things will look in the fall. And with that being said, our team has been hard at work to prepare for several scenarios. No matter what, the safety of our students, staff, and families is our number one priority. We've received many inquiries regarding what this back to school plan will look like and when it will be released to the public. A draft of the back to school concept plan will be presented and discussed with the school board at upcoming, upcoming board meetings and we will share out our plans with everyone as soon as they become board approved. What we do know about our plans, uh, about our plan is that there will be options for families for both in-person and virtual or remote learning. More information about our virtual offerings will come out soon as each building level or school will have their own unique options. Another common question has been in regards to facial coverings. After consulting with the Vernon County Health Department and our medical advisors, we will have all staff and students wear face coverings when inside the buildings. Face coverings mean a piece of cloth or other material that is worn to cover the nose and mouth completely. Acceptable face coverings include, but are not limited to, a cloth face mask, a disposable paper mask, and a neck gaiter. We are seeking guidance on whether face shields that cover the entire face are a viable option for our staff and students. If you're unable to provide your child with a face covering, we will provide one for them. If uh, you or your child has a condition that exempts him or her from wearing a face covering, please provide that documentation to the office. Without this documentation, your child will be expected to follow this procedure. We understand that this is an emotional topic and we appreciate your cooperation and helping to keep everyone as safe as possible. Please know that we are committed to open communication and keeping you informed. Within this, uh, within this we have established a web page where you can find updates related to the reopening of our schools. You can access this page at VeroquaAreaSchools.com and by clicking on the COVID-19 and fall planning updates link. There are many moving pieces to these plans and we will need to adapt as the situation surrounding COVID-19 evolves. We're also receiving further guidance from Vernon County Department of Health, which could further change our plans. Finally, just a reminder, the first day of school is September 1st. Until then, I hope you have a safe and enjoyable summer. Thank you and have a great day.